Okay, we heard you. Every other time I've done a video on a robot vacuum, in the comments, I get comments, have you tried the Roborock vacuums? Have you tried the Roborock vacuums? They're the best vacuums ever. So we did it. We got ourselves a Roborock vacuum. This is the S6 Pure. Not sure exactly what the Pure means. I'm gonna guess that it has something to do with it not having relations with other robot vacuums, but maybe we'll figure that out. But what this thing is, it's a real neat vacuum. It's got LiDAR, so it maps the house using lasers and it knows exactly where it is in the house. So instead of being one of those mump and go robots where it just kind of goes around and misses stuff, it gets everything. So in this video, I'm gonna first show you how it works and then I'm gonna show you how to set it up in case you need that. So I'm gonna give you a real quick run through of it and I'm gonna give a more in depth one during the setup. So when you get it, you get the vacuum, the piddle pad, I'll tell you what the piddle pad's for in a second, the base station, and it comes with this thing too. This is a mopping attachment, so if you've got hardwood floors like this or tile floors, it can clean those as well. Now on the top, it's got that little laser guy, it spins in circles, we'll show you how that works in a little bit. It's also got a bumper here on the front that has a sensor, so it knows when it's bumping into stuff. It's got sensors on the sides here, it helps it navigate its way around, and in the back, is where it has its dust collection bin, and it also comes with a little cleaning tool. So whenever you use these vacuums, everything is controlled through the phone. So what you do here is you can either select what room you want it to clean, what zone, you can mark a zone, maybe you have a, a litter box or something, that's my problem area, or you can just hit clean and then it'll do the entire house. So we're gonna hit clean. Starting to clean. And you'll see what it typically does is it first goes around the edge of the area it's gonna clean, and then it goes up and down in a grid. Now, while that thing's cleaning in the background, they actually have another model that has little cameras on the front and it can see everything on the floor and supposedly it'll avoid animal poop. So you won't have a situation like this. Now, if enough people tell me, I will go buy that one and have it on the channel. So let me know down in the comments below if you wanna see the poop avoiding robot vacuum and we'll have that here too. Whoa, 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 easy there, not till you're married. And to give you an idea of how the LiDAR works, if you see, this is how these robot vacuums make their way around and map out your house. That little light you see spinning around the room, that's actually the LiDAR sending out an infrared laser beam and mapping the room. So this is how it knows exactly where it is around your house at all times. And this wouldn't really be a test unless we really tested it. So let's, uh, let's pretend we're a toddler. and dump some cereal on the floor. For me, this, going underneath the table, oop, gotta get the rest of those Cheerios. Look at that. Nothing left on the floor, but like I was saying, to me, its ability to get underneath tables and underneath furniture is the most impressive part of these robots, and specifically this one. I think this one, of all the navigation, this thing seems to be the best as far as getting underneath that table and underneath your dining room table is where you're gonna find the most crumbs. Which is very impressive. The bump and go robots absolutely do not do this kind of cleaning. They don't get underneath tables well at all. Now another neat feature is you can select just a certain room. So we just had to clean the whole house, but now I'm gonna pick a room, and this is great if you have a room with a problem area, maybe you have your cat box in it. Starting room cleaning. Now if your house is dirty like my house, and you wanna pick up one of these for yourself, I do have a link down in the description below. One of the places vacuum really impressed me was its navigation. It navigates the house better than any other vacuum I've had. So now in the back of the house, it's cleaning the carpet. And if you're the kind of person that wants grid lines on your carpet, this thing does pretty much perfect grid lines. The uh, cheaper ones that just do the bump and go, it kind of looks like a drunken monkey was pushing your vacuum around. This thing, if on nice carpet like this, you will get a perfect grid pattern which not only looks nice, but it means it got every bit of carpet. 
Now I want to take a quick break to talk about today's video sponsor and that is Skillshare. Now I've been doing a lot of 3D printing lately and I'm going to be doing a lot more in an upcoming video and I'm going to need a lot of CAD skills to design what we're going to be printing for a project that we're working on but I'm no good at CAD. So I'm taking a lot of classes on Skillshare about CAD so I can do all the designs myself and not have to outsource them. The class that I just finished taking was Introduction to 3D Printing and Easy Start to Your First 3 Design by Lauren Slowick. This should give me a good starting point for my new project. Now, if you wanna learn some awesome new skills like I'm learning some new skills, I have a deal for you. Down in the description below, I've got a link to Skillshare. First thousand people to click on those links this month will get a free month of Skillshare, no strings attached. You can learn some awesome stuff on your own at home. So be sure to check out those links. Now let's get back to the vacuum. Charging. And when it's all done, it returns back to its base charger and charges itself back up for its next trip out. Now, if you have a big enough house that it can't do it in one charge, it will come back, charge, and head back out and complete its, uh, its cleaning operation where it left off. But right now, we just cleaned the house. Let's see how much stuff this thing Dust picked up. Dustbin removed. The joys of owning a cat. Now with the floor clean, I wanna do a little bit of floor mopping. So we're gonna just add, I usually just use water. You can use floor cleaning solution. Sometimes I use Windex if the floors are pretty grimy and I really wanna get into it. But right now we're just gonna fill this thing up with water, cap it, and install it on the bottom of the robot. Now with the mop installed, we can let it loose on some hardwood floors. Starting room cleaning. Now the mopping that it does, it does a pretty good job, but it doesn't really scrub the floors the way you would if you were scrubbing your floors. So if you've got like stains and stuff stuck to your floors, you're still gonna have to manually do it. Now that other vacuum, the poop avoider, apparently has some other features that really help scrub the floor much better. So I'm hoping that we get one of those on the channel soon. We see how well that performs on a really kind of dirty soiled floor with maybe some pet mess on it. So now that I've shown you the features and how it works, let me show you how to set it up. Now, if you haven't already gone onto your phone and set up the Roborock app, you're gonna wanna do that. Now we're just gonna search for device. We're gonna select ours, which is the S6 Pure. And here we're gonna put in our network's password. Now, my network name is Hal. Leave me a comment down below if you know where that network name came from. Now we're gonna turn the vacuum on itself, open up the lid, and wait for this little blue light to start blinking. That's the Wi-Fi light. And we're gonna wait for that little blue light to start blinking. That indicates that it has found our Wi-Fi network. So now we can jump back into the app, tell it it is blinking. And now we actually need to connect to the device itself on our phone. So we're gonna jump into our network settings here. Now we're going to connect directly to the vacuums network with our phone. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connected. Now that it's told us the Wi-Fi is connected, we can move on to our next step. So you can see here the battery is at 25%. So before we use this thing, we're gonna go get it plugged in and charged up. So it's been charging for a couple hours. Now we're going to hop back into the app and you're gonna see it says no map found. Now, the first time you clean, it's going to create a map. So we're gonna go down to the bottom, hit clean. Starting to clean. And what it's doing, it's using that little dome on the top that's got a little spinning disc in it, shooting out infrared lasers, kind of neat. And it's actually mapping the entire house as it does its first cleaning. And as it cleans your house for the first time, you can actually watch it map the house in real time from your phone. So it seems these two may have uh, taken a little bit of a liking to each other, but uh, not until the wedding, you two. Um, we have a little purity ring here. We're gonna put it right in there behave. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I do have a link to this guy down below in the description if you want to check it out. Be sure to go down below. Also give it a great big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you want to see the poop avoider because we'll have that on the channel if you want to see it. And of course, thanks for watching.